What's going on YouTube? What's going on? I don't have my watch, but it's about to be five o'clock in the morning. We are in Orlando. We just got done with Forbidden Kingdom maybe five hours ago. Five hours ago, we got done with Forbidden Kingdom. It ended at, it ended at um, 11, 11, but you know how festivals are. It took us about an hour to even get out of the place. So we got out of the place, met with the Uber. And I'm gonna talk about that too. Met with the Uber, drove home. It was about 1230. And I told everyone, I gotta go to bed, okay? I gotta go to bed, I gotta be up in an hour and a half. And so, leaders do more, leaders do more. Today, uh, I met a group of people that I've never met before, introduced myself and who I am, and we went to this festival. From the festival, I like to lead a lot. Hey, we're gonna go here, but I take into consideration everything that everyone wants to do, what's going on, because that's what a leader no does. The leader, leads the team to where they all want to go we all come we the leader is able to make everyone agree on something okay the leader is able to make everybody agree on something right and so when you do that you lead by example and so as, as i'm leading the group somewhere anytime i'm going ahead i look back a little bit and obviously we're not all sober that's 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 a given all right i'm going to be real with you because real recognizes real and real recognizes fake and so as a leader, as I'm walking forward, I'm constantly looking back, making sure everyone's together. If anyone's too far behind, I stop. Everyone stops and we wait. Because when you're leading people, you can't just leave any, you can't leave people behind. Because the person behind you is just as important as the, the last person, okay? And usually as a team, there's a leader in the front and a leader in the back, or you can constantly watch both ends and everybody in the middle. And so, and it's trust, it's integrity. There's times where in the festival, I felt my frequency going low. So I hit, I hit the ground. I hit the fucking ground and I fucking did my push-ups. Didn't do burpees, but I hit push-ups. And I would just knock it out until my arms couldn't get back up. And people were patting me in the back and like, damn, you're fucking doing some push-ups. Of course, man, because that's what raises my frequency. And so when they see someone doing work, when everyone else is having fun, it's like, man, like that's impressive. Like you can just be enjoying yourself, but you're deciding to do some fucking push-ups. I'm like, fuck yeah, bro, raise my frequency. And what does that do? That inspires everybody around you. Cause they realize that you're just a regular, you're just, you're just a regular person like, like them. It's like, wait, if he can do it, I can do it. You instill belief in people because you also make it known that, hey, we're not that different. I just decided to do something. And so when you decide to do something like that, you inspire the people around you. When you lead, you, you allow others to find their voice and to lead themselves because you're setting the example. I'm like, that is possible. That is possible. And so as we were getting dropped off, as soon as the festival is over, everything's crazy, all right? Everyone's leaving Uber. It's super hard to get an Uber. It's super hard to get an Uber because everyone's waiting. There's lines, traffic, people drive their cars, right? So here's a piece of advice and this is something we did. Um, Last festival, uh, we got dropped off by the Uber because we got an Uber there and I got the Uber's number. I'm like, yo brother, we're gonna be leaving around 12. Can you come pick us up? He's like, yeah, I got you. That way we don't have to wait on an Uber. We have a personal Uber. I got the guy's number, but by the time I got out of the festival, I, was, I couldn't even remember the guy's name. So I messed up, I made a mistake last time. Last time I got the Uber's number, but I forgot his name. So I couldn't find him in my phone. So I messed it up for my team. This time, before I left, the same thing. Yo, brother, we're gonna be back here again. Can I just get your number? I got his number, I called him, I texted him. I'm like, I got it this time. Even Kate was like, Alex, save his number or call him. So you, or take a screenshot, because we can't forget. And before you know it, we were all leaving, called the Uber, I'm like, hey, yo, bro, come get us. And there was more of us. Before, he took only six. Once he got here, there's 10, I'm like, Papo, there's 10, I'll pay you some extra. He's like, that's fine, that's fine. So he fucking hooked us up. He got, we got him, but we made it worth his time. We made, paid him some money. But that's what a leader does. I knew I had to take care of my people. I, I'm like, yo, I got the Uber. Don't worry about it, guys. But again, like taking care of the people, putting people before you allows you to be a true leader. But that's why you have to do more. It is, I got an hour and a half sleep last night and I got up and I did my fucking pushups. I did my, I did a, I did a hundred burpees. I did about 50, and about more than 50. I did about 75 up downs with my knees. I did a, I did 200 air squats and I did 100 calf raises. I'm just here sweating. I read my Bible. I read Jesus Calling book. I wrote down my vision 
hour and a half sleep. And I told everyone, we got home and they were very respectable because they heard me talk this big game. They were, I kept telling them, I'm like, I'm gonna wake up at three. I'm gonna wake up at three. And everyone's like, okay, okay. As it got closer, I'm like, I gotta get to bed. I got, and I'm like, damn, this guy is real. This guy's for real. They let me sleep a little bit, got me a fucking little room, slept for an hour and a half, woke up, now I'm feeling great. And I said, I'm gonna shoot a fucking YouTube video. But keeping your word, keeping your word is part of being a leader. If I talked all this shit, like, yeah, I wake up at three, I knock out burpees, and then today would have came, hour and a half of sleep, easily I could have been like, bro, I, I tried, I, get, I I'm tired, I need some sleep, easily, then I would have lost a lot of respect. Because he's like, damn, this guy's all talk. He said he was going to do this, hype, hype, then comes night. I said, no, accountability. Telling people what you're going to do is also a form of you keeping yourself accountable because it's like, all right, are you going to be a man of your word or are you going to be all talk? And the last thing you want to be is all fucking talk. Give me some fucking water. And I said, I got to shoot a YouTube video. I got to explain this because I realized like being in this leadership position, it, it's all character. It's all character. As I'm talking to each one of them, each one has a different story. Each, are, each, each is coming from a different background. They each are going through something different. But when you're a solid man, you have solid characteristics, you can inspire, you can motivate. Because when you do hard things, when you do more than others, others can, can follow you because you're leading by example. You're leading the fucking way by doing more. So I encourage you, I encourage you, do not be afraid to be different. Do not be afraid to do more. You should want to do more. Leaders, leaders, it's not about how tall you are. I'm literally the shortest one here. That's another thing too, like guy-wise. Guy-wise, I'm legitimately the shortest one here. But it has, no, but it doesn't matter. Even Bree's like, so, like height doesn't matter because she saw me leading. And no disrespect to the guys at all, at all. They know I got their back. I, just, I wanted to lead. I wanted to take care of my people. I wanted to make sure I'm the fucking lion. But I'm, t I'm making sure everyone's good. That's what a lion does. And a lion, uh, the leader, isn't about gloating, ego, hey, look at me. The lion fucking worries about everybody except himself because he's already done the work in the dark. I've been doing the work. This is I haven't gone to a festival in like since November of last year. It's been like seven, eight months. I haven't done anything like this. I've been doing deep work in the dark, in the dark. So I come out here, let's do this, 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 you do this. I'm like, motherfucker, that's where it pays off. You don't realize how much work you're putting in as a leader when you're doing more behind closed doors until you're in front of other people and you're in it, and it clearly shows that damn this motherfucker has been putting in work it's no different than when you've been putting in work in january come the summer you take off and you're fucking shredded you feel me so again the physique the mindset this is, it's more about this this is a byproduct literally 10 minutes in, when we got to the festival maybe like 30 minutes into a festival some guy comes to me he's like bro you're my dream physique you're my dream physique Brie was like, did you pay that guy to say that? I'm like, no. But again, people would notice, damn, you look fucking, you look great in shape. You're fucking, damn. I'm like, again, work in the dark, work in the dark, work in the dark. When you work in the dark, what you've done in the dark is revealed in the light. When you get step onto your light, okay? But with that being said, it's fucking five o'clock. I'm gonna go shower, eat some breakfast. Forbidden Kingdom day two. But again, leaders do more. Much love. If you like this video, Click the subscribe button and uh, click the thumbs up. Much love.